While some non-competitive inhibitors are poisonous, others serve a useful function by helping to regulate how enzymes work in the body and making sure they work efficiently. They do this through a process called negative feedback. Here is how negative feedback operates with enzymes. Enzymes work in pathways to synthesize new products for the body. Each enzyme affects one specific chemical reaction in a cell, and in the end, a product is formed that the cell needs. But when too much of this product is produced, it returns to the first enzyme in the pathway through a feedback loop. Here, it acts as a non-competitive inhibitor. Almost as if biting the hand that fed it, the end product attaches to the first enzyme, altering the enzyme's shape and thereby preventing it from reacting normally with its substrate. The result is that the entire enzyme pathway is shut down and no more end products can be formed. This is one way the body protects itself from producing too much of certain substances. But what happens when the body needs more of the end product? In this situation, the end product separates from the first enzyme, freeing the enzyme to bind to its natural substrate. The entire enzyme pathway is once again set in motion to produce more end.